Hi, I'm Rachel McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and welcome to our Women in Wealth series. I have a new friend with me this week. Uh, please let me welcome my new friend and tell us who you are, what you do, and what you love most about your career. Hi, Regina. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is May O'Keefe. I'm an orthodontist of almost 17 years. I love so many things about my job, my career. I've wanted to be an orthodontist since I was 10 years old. Mm. I, uh, I love the human aspect of it, the connection, the following of um, youngsters until they become adults and adults um, until they gain that confident smile that they've always wanted their whole lives. The transformation is um, amazing, and I love being part of that. There's so many things, Regina, I love about my job, and I think um, the, the, the patient aspect and the connection aspect is what I um, adore most about it. And I think it's a natural for you. Uh, you're such a people person. I know going into your office, I, I, it's just a happy place and you exude happiness and all the kids love you all I've had three of my children with you <laughs> and they have all adored you I just think you're just naturally uh, a human like interactive person you're so good at that well thank you so much and you know it's it's kids like yours that I've seen grow up and families that I've connected with for so many years that it's like family. Um, I look at um, my patients kind of like my own kids. Uh, my kids are little um, and I've known some of my patients uh, longer than I've been a mom. So um, there I've watched them grow up. Um, little ones now are going to college, getting married, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I've been doing it for that long. And um, that's what I love most about it. Yeah, that's really amazing. So tell everyone uh, the name of your practice and where your practice is located and, and your website address. Sure. So um, I'm May O'Keefe Ortho. Uh, and my website is www.mayokeefeortho.com and I'm located in King of Prussia um, and it's a very uh, wonderful, unique uh, situation. I'm only the third um, owner of this practice. Um, the original owner um, was in practice for about 30 years. Um, and then he transitioned and the previous owner was in practice for close to 30 years um, of which I was part of that practice for 15 and then uh, the opportunity arose for me to um, take it and and move it to the next the next level and um, and so that's where I'm at um, right in the medical dental building in King of Prussia. So it's a great location, very easy access, but it's really unique that I'm the third, um, only the third owner in about, uh, you know, 60 plus years of this practice. Wow, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. longevity, very good, very good. And yeah. I can't wait to see your practice just bloom and bloom and bloom because you're so good at what you do. Oh, thank you. So as a professional woman, how do you see, you know, what have been some of the challenges that you have faced as a professional woman in your career? Uh, it starts really kind of um, from the beginning, you know, um, dental school used to be a male dominated um, uh, place, uh, institution, and, and now it's really changed. But uh, you know, 20 years ago, um, I, my class was the first class that there were, you know, actually more women than men. So it's starting to change, but it's still a male dominated uh, profession. So it's the kind of, um, you know, I, I am the doctor and um, I, I have gone through the training and I do have the experience. So it, it there is some level of, um, there is some level of, you know, having to prove yourself a little bit, but I, I try not to focus on that. Um, I just uh, do what I love and 
talk about it and with the, the same passion. So um, I think that that's a challenge, but it's, it's a fun challenge, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And, um, but in, in general terms, I think that, you know, nowadays uh, there's been so many women uh, in medicine and dentistry that have, um, that have kind of paved the way that it's it's uh it's it's not as daunting as it may seem or as it may have been in the past. Well, that's great news. Great news, yeah. especially for the next generation because you've paved the way for the next generation of women professionals. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> um so uh being a woman professional, uh we also know that there's another side of it and that's balancing or trying to balance uh you know raising a family and taking of your family so what are how are some of the ways that you handle your balance in, in the family and the work and the career um well I'm trying to balance it now regina oh. <laughs> i know it's really hard it's really bigger challenge right now i think for, oh. especially like you you said you have your kids are so little I, I hats off to you it's so much harder for people with younger kids yeah well so i'm very blessed um my parents uh, live really close by, and if it wasn't for them, my, my husband works, um, I work, and so really my parents have been instrumental in raising my children, um, and I couldn't do it without them. Um, but it's, it is, it, there's a lot of the, the usual mommy guilt. Um, my job, um, you know, before uh, I was the owner, um, I did have, you know, set hours, and so, Luckily, they were a lot of after school uh, hours, and it might sound kind of odd, but I had my mornings available. So if there was something at school, I could do it. And I, you know, I was able to be there. Um, and, and now within some, with some, you know, um, I can't just go to everything, but, you know, I try and I try and schedule around it. But uh, like I said, if it wasn't for really good support um, and, and my parents, I mean, who else can you trust? Um, yeah. You know, um, that I, I, I don't know that I could do it. I don't know that yeah. I'm sure I could, but um, you know, it's, it's been, it's, I, it's been wonderful to also have my children have such a good relationship with their. Oh yeah. And, and I'm sure your parents yeah. get a, a lot of love out of that too. So yeah. And win for everyone. That's, that's wonderful. And, and I have a, a similar situation where my mom uh, can help me when I need it. And, and it really does make a difference when you have that family cohesive, you know, everybody's in this together and you know, your kids are in good hands. Yeah. It gives you that little, little sense of, so when I'm, when I'm, you know, at work, um, I'm really kind of at peace, uh, knowing that. So mm -hmm. That's pretty there's awesome. always little bumps. There's always oh little yeah. Bumps. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, you can't go to everything like, you know, that mom guilt and, and we just have to navigate around that and, and, you know, it's okay. We, it's okay for us not to be at every single thing. It's okay to make the decision. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to this event, but I may not make that other event. And we just have to give ourselves permission uh, to do that. So good for you. Yeah. You're, you're following that as well. I, you know. And I have, I have two daughters and, and um, you know, so it's, it's a lot of kind of, you know, me really trying to instill in them that, you know, um, you, know you, you can do both. You can have a career and you can have children and we shall see if I, if I am going to be successful or not. Oh, I, I, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are successful at it. So talking about a little bit about the future, uh, what are some of the things that you think about, like either they keep you up at night or that you think, oh my gosh, I really do need to plan for this for the future? So this is in a non-COVID world? <laughs> non-COVID world, yes, which we all can't wait to be out of. Yeah. Oh, I, I think about all the, the usual suspects of, you know, um, college education, education is really important in, in, for me and my husband and, you know, kind of planning for um, our children to do that. Um, I'm not a young mom, um, so I also think about um, someday retiring, although 
I do love what I do, so I don't know how quickly I'm, I'm looking to retire. Um, but I think mostly it's making sure our children um, are able to do what they want to do and, um, you know, within reason, um, mm. they, they have, they have, we, we will support them and trying to make sure that happens. So whether it's, um, you know, financial planning for, for them right now, um, we're, we're doing our best, trying our best. Yeah. And that's all you can do. You know what? And I always say, you know, whatever you can do is going to help you later. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, but whatever you do is just going to make it a little bit easier later. Right. I hope so. That's all, that's all we can be accountable for. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, pandemic aside, we will, we will recover. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will. We absolutely will. We got to be positive. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. All right. Great. Well, I enjoyed having you on here. Um, very much so. Uh, and I thank you for joining me. Uh, and if any of our followers want to go uh, check out Dr. O'Keefe, again, uh, mayo'keefeorthodontics.com. And she is located in King of Prussia. And I can tell you three times a customer and I'm blessed to have found you. Dr. Oh, you make my heart happy. And I, <laughs> I, feel, I feel blessed to have known you all and call you my friend. That's yes, awesome. We, we enjoy you. So thank you everyone else for watching our Women in Wealth series. Uh, if you want to find more about myself and Forge Wealth Management, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Forge Wealth. And on LinkedIn, you can follow me at Regina McCann Hess. And of course, our website is forgewealth.com where you can go and see this video and some of our other videos as well. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.